Hey guys, before this video starts, I just want to give a quick explanation as to why it was taken down, this video, this that is. Um, I uploaded this video last week uh, on the Monday, yeah, I think it was the Monday, um, and by Tuesday afternoon I was asked to take it down by the range uh, themselves. Um, it contains sensitive information which they didn't want showing around, um, so uh, I had to take the video down, but credit where credit is due to the range, rather than just saying, Oh, take the video down. We don't want the video up anymore. Um, you know, they actually told me what part was sensitive and what part they didn't want uh, in the video. Uh, and it was two parts, and it was, I got no problem saying it. It was basically where I was filming uh, the, uh, the truck from outside, what was inside the trailer, um, basically showing the load they didn't they didn't like. So um, I got absolutely no problem removing the material. Uh, I don't want to upset anybody. Um, so the, 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 that material was gone. It was only like two minutes worth um, within like the whole vlog, maybe three minutes tops. So actually I've not really lost hardly anything to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, uh, I immediately took down the video. I've taken out those three minutes worth of footage and uh, the video is now back up for you uh, to enjoy. So thank you to the range. I don't, wanna, I don't want anyone like slagging the range off or anything like that because uh, they allowed me to put the video back up basically. So happy days, thank you very much, do appreciate it. Uh, and uh, yeah, to everyone who uh, is listened to me waffle on this long, enjoy the video. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, that car had no lights on. Welcome to my channel, how are we all doing? Let's turn those hazards off. Um, you joined me today, I've just woken up. <laughs> you joined me today on Friday, um, where we've actually been out most of the week. I think I was only home, was only home Monday night, I've been out the rest of the week. Um, and today's the last day, but we've got a busy day today. It's gonna be a late one as well, I think. We are an Avonmouth. Uh, we're just we're literally just around the corner, so we're we're going to leave now. Um, we've got to go get a range trailer. We dropped our trailer off. That's getting loaded for Bournemouth. We've got to go get a range trailer now. Do three local runs to Bristol, three different stores, and then when that's done, we've got to go back and get our trailer, which is going to be loaded for uh, for Bournemouth, and that's got to be tipped this afternoon. So that's the plan. But um. Hopefully we can get there nice and early and get it tipped off, but I can't, can't see us get to Bournemouth to about two, two o'clock maybe. We'll see. That's just an estimate. We will see. So yeah, at the moment we just got to go and uh, basically spin round at this roundabout, go and get uh, a range trailer and um, do three Bristol runs. So let's go get the trailer. Right, we got our paperwork for the first store. I know I've not got my seatbelt on. We want trailer KTR96, which he reckons is on the left hand side over here. I know you can't see just yet. Where is it? KTR96. Just because he said it's on the left doesn't mean I'm not going to look on the right. Ah, there it is. It is there. So it's an actual range trailer. Happy days.
sound isn't going to be great on this because I've not got my microphone attached, but uh, trailer is attached. Uh, done the checks, everything's good. Good to go. Um, all we've got to do now is jump back in the truck, uh, look at our uh, time sheet to see what store we're going to first, because I don't actually know yet, and uh, hope it's on the back end. Okay, so we are going to Imperial Park first, then we are going to Bristol, and then we are going to Stoke Gifford. I mean, they are, they're all technically Bristol stores, but uh, that's just what they call the each store. So, uh, yeah, Imperial Park will be the first one we're going to. We're just going to give our uh, paperwork to security. No doubt I've forgotten to do something, like sign it or something. I don't know. Do I need to sign it either? Hi mate. Bye, right, cheers buddy. All good. I don't think I've written down the seal numbers. <laughs> Never mind. Right, so um yeah the first the first door we're going to is Imperial Park. Uh, we'll just come to a stop a second. Imperial Park, which is uh address the junction Imperial Park Bristol. So that's the first one. Uh, it's booked in for Does it say what time is it going for? No, but <laughs> I just noticed we've got four pallets for the first one. It says 90 pallets. Oh, that's got to be a 10. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it can't be 90. It's so 10 pallets for the second stall and then nine pallets for the third stall. So that's 19, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, 24 pallets. Is it? I need to learn my maths. 19, 23 pallets. So it's a full load, but yeah, four, only four pallets for the first store. So like we're going to be in and out, hopefully in five minutes. Fingers crossed. Our ETA there is 7.30, so we will be there early, but at least we'll be there ready to go. Last time I delivered to the Imperial Park as well, um, they did it off the back doors. So they took, they took them off the back and then um, pump trucked them off. So we'll see if they can do it this time or not. Probably got to collect some waste as well, so they'll they whack the waste on the back doors and uh, go from there. So that makes it easier, actually, if anything, doing it from the back doors. Yeah. Right, anyway, let's crack on, see when we get there. Right, we're just around the corner from Imperial Park now. We've got to go uh, around this roundabout, left at the next one, I think. All clear? Yep. So yeah, as you saw, we've got an actual range trailer on, which is uh, pretty cool to have a range trailer on, other than the normal standard blue one, so that's pretty cool. I'm just going to come down here. Uh, so yeah, we've got four pallets to come off here. It doesn't actually say on my paper what time to get here, but it's normally um, 8 o'clock first delivery, normally. So um, we're a little bit early because it's half past seven right now. But uh, if they can get it off, bonus. If not, then uh, well, we just have to wait. Maybe get a fifteen-minute break in. So left at this roundabout. Excellent. Oh yeah, I remember now, because I've, I've, I've been to every store, apart from maybe the Bristol store, I'm not sure, the next one, I don't think I've been to. But every other store we've got to go to today, I've been to in the past. And I remembered now, there's cars parked down here in awkward places where you need to be. Uh, maybe because we're here quite early, uh, they won't be in the way. Ugh. Who knows? We've just got to go around this corner and then it's on the right hand side. If there's someone outside, we can honour them. <laughs> Oi! Unload me! <laughs> yeah, hazards on. Uh, oh, wow. That is a lot of rubbish. I think they got some pallets that might need taken back, so... Happy days. Right, so I'm just going to pull forward. I think they're going to have to offload me from the back end. So 
poor enough, poor far enough forward that they can uh, get to me. I am just going to call the store and just tell them I'm here. Hi there, good morning. Uh, I've got a delivery for you guys. I've got four pallets. I'm at the back of your goods in entrance. Is it Iceland? No, it's it's for um, for the range. Oh right, um, there's no one in. They're not in till eight o'clock. That's okay. I'll uh, I'll wait out here. If you can just let them know when they get in, that I'm out here. That'd be great. Okay, so who's uh, the warehouse guys coming? I'll let them know there's uh. Yeah, waiting. it's just four pallets. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh yeah, I forgot Iceland's some part of the range now, aren't they? So yeah, we'll just sit here then. Uh, half an hour, put it on break. Oh, oh, and I wanted to get a move on. <laughs> nope, not on a Friday. <laughs> See you in a bit. Right, we're done. Uh, yeah, so it's half past eight, so it's a little bit later than we would have ideally have liked, but never mind. First job done, it's signed for. Bristol's the next one, paperwork's ready to go. Yeah, we would have ideally have liked to have uh, been out of here a little bit quicker, because like, we got here at half seven, but hey, they didn't get into eight o'clock, so. Never mind, and we got a, uh, yeah, we got a 30, 30 minute break in uh, before they started offloading us. Right, let's go, where are we gonna spin around then? There's a lot of trucks around here. Is there enough room for me to spin round? I could always reverse round there. Let's see if I can just do a spinny. Ooh, very tight now. Yeah. I might have been better. I might have been better off reversing round there. There's not enough room around here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to gonna have to go back and reverse around the other way. Could have put my hazards on. I've got the wrong angle here. I could I could potentially blind it, but I don't really want it. We're going to go over the kerb just to uh, get the angle. We've got to mind the car there. Uh -huh. And then we shall reverse around this bend instead. It's a bit, a bit tight for space around here. Again, we're going to have to go on the kerb potentially because there's a lamp post on the left. There's the lamp post. Let's just miss it. Yeah, I just missed it. Lovely. If those other trucks weren't there, we would have been able to spin round, but because they're there, it's not ideal. Never mind. Right, let's crack on. We've got to go to the Bristol store now. We should be there in about 20 minutes. Uh, 10 to 9 should be there. Uh, and they've got 10 pallets, so probably going to be there a little bit longer. Let's go. Right, we are in Bristol, pretty much town centre. Uh, we just round the corner from the store we need to be at. I'm not sure if I've been to this one or not. I'm not sure if I'm in the right lane. Um, let's look at the sat nav. Yeah, we got we got to go round to the right, then round to the left, and then turn right around about. So hopefully, hopefully we're in the right lane. Let's go round here. Uh, eighth. A4320, both lanes do it. I might need to get into the right-hand side lane then. Because... 
we need to turn right at the roundabout. There's, there's no one on the left of me at the moment, so we're all good for the moment. On the right of me, sorry. Did I say right of me? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go into this lane, because this lane goes left still. And then we sh it should naturally feed us into the right lane for the next roundabout. Yes! It does. Because we need to go right at this roundabout. Both these lanes go right. Where's that car going? That car's coming in. Make sure there's nothing on the right of me. A car on the left somewhere. Excellente! And then I believe we want to head straight down here. Staff and deliveries only. Why is there a picture of a lorry with a no access? Uh, no truck parking, deliveries only. Yeah, I'm a delivery. I'm a delivery. I need to be right where you are, mate, to make the corner. <laughs> He's just spotted me. I'm for you, mate. I think. Can we spin around? <laughs> right. We're tipped. That wasn't too bad. How long were we here for? Oh, we moved over. <laughs> it took eight minutes for one side. Probably eight minutes for the other side as well. Uh, but we've got to get a move on because there's a truck behind us. And he can't get in where we are because there's not a lot of room. We've got to come down here, spin round. And then we'll make our way to our third drop. Not doing too bad. It's only half past nine at the moment. Let's go in, uh, let's go into plan, go into plan. Hopefully we can get past that truck. I'm hoping he comes all the way down here and spins round. Because I was just going to be tight. Oh, I might be all right. Spin round. Yeah. On to the third and final store, Stoke Gifford. Uh, should be there in about 15 minutes or so, give or take. About 20 to 10. I did a four load there uh, at the beginning of the week, like a four trailer load. And I was in, in and out in like an hour. And uh, well, I've only got I've only got nine pallets for them, so <laughs> I'm hoping uh, half an hour or so I'll be in and out. Happy days. Oh, no waste at all yet either. Two stores, no waste. That's uh, almost unheard of. If we can get away with picking no waste up from the third store, then... Uh, that's a Brucey bonus for me, because then I haven't got to worry about queuing up to get rid of the waste when I get back to the range. I can just drop the trailer off and uh, get my own trailer and go to Bournemouth. Right, let's go. See you in a bit. If you're looking to get into the HTV industry or you're already in the industry but want to refine your existing skills, I highly recommend that you purchase the Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. There is a link in the description down below. This thing is absolutely ram-packed with information. Anything and everything you need to know regarding HTV is in this book. Go and buy it. Link is in the description down below. Okay, we are now just around the corner from Stoke Gifford. Third and final drop with this trailer. Uh, we've only got nine pallets. Was it nine? Yeah, I think it's nine pallets for this stall. Uh, so they should come off relatively quickly, I'm hoping. Um, yeah, I've had a pretty good day so far. We've uh, we've really got <laughs> really gotten on with it. Uh, fingers crossed we can get in and out in like 15 minutes and uh, leave by 10 o'clock. You know, we could be back at even for half 10, swap trailers and new trailer on by 11 o'clock. That would be absolutely amazing if I can do all that by 11 o'clock. We will see, we will see. Uh, I think it's a good two and a bit hour drive down to Bournemouth, so I'd put it half one, two o'clock, something like that. We need to get half an hour break in somewhere because we've only had a 15 minute break so far. So, um, yeah, I'll try and get a break in. Yeah, I want to get I want to get my trailer on first before I get a break in and uh, make my way to Bournemouth, definitely. 
Right, we want to get into the right hand side lane. Got a car on the left hand side of me, just uh, be aware mate, I need to take room to move. Thank you, there he is. Am I in the right lane or do I need to go left? Yeah, I'm in the right lane. We're going right at the next roundabout. Ba, 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 ba. This store has got quite a tight uh, shared access, um, sort of like, well, it's well, it shared access really. It's um, quite tight. We've got to go on in and spin round on the on the on the spot sort of thing, and then reverse back. But there won't be a lot of room for an Arctic to get in. Um, hopefully, we're uh, the only ones there. Last time, last time I come here, which was like Monday or whatever in the week, I just drove straight in, spun round, beat me on, let them know I was there. By the time I reversed back and got out, there were pretty much uh, gates open waiting for me, so that was good. Right, so here we are. Can we go straight in? That is the question. Giggity, we're all clear. Uh, I think they got a little ways to go back. I would have liked it if they didn't. And there we go, and then we just sort of go back. And then this line here sort of went to the uh, front of the uh, step. That's pretty much as far as I can go. Right. Let's go in, uh, and see someone and uh, get this offloaded. See you in a bit. Okay, we are offloaded here now. Put that in there. Uh, I might put a jumper on, you know, it's a bit chilly outside. Uh, right, things haven't quite gone to plan there. We've been here a while. Put it this way, we've got our break in. Uh, we've got half an hour break in because um, I uh, undone the curtains. I uh, put the curtains all the way to the back. She offloaded me and uh, put waste on as well and I was just sat in my truck watching videos on YouTube and uh, yeah so I've had I've had my 30 minute break I've uh, been here quite a while I've been here for about an hour it's 10 to 11 now ideally I wanted to be back at the range uh, trailer swapped and leaving for 11 o'clock whereas now we're not going to get there till about quarter past 11 so and we've got a full load of waste on, so by the time we get this full load of waste off, um, swap trailers and get a move on, it's probably going to be gone 12. And uh, it's a good three hour drive down to Bournemouth, so we're probably looking about three o'clock down Bournemouth. But uh, we'll get there as soon as we can. Hopefully, they offload us within an hour, hopefully, could be longer. And uh, back home for like six or seven o'clock, fingers crossed. We shall see, we shall see. All I know is I've got a full load, full load of waste on, full load. Uh, let's go and get this uh, tipped off in even mouth, swap trailers and get a move on down to Bournemouth. I'll see you in a bit. And just like that, we have swapped our trailer and we've got uh, our little trailer back. Just dropped one of our, just dropped the trailer off on bay 105 just down there. 
and uh, yeah, so we've just hitched up. We've got uh, all the seals on, like that. So yeah, happy days. Just going around now, making sure everything's all okay in the trailer before we actually fully drive off. Ah, right, let's crack on to Bournemouth. We've got 20 pallets to go to Bournemouth. Uh, a little bit worryingly though, it does say Bournemouth 2, which kind of tells me that there's another load going on, I'm load 2. It'd be funny if we beat it there, wouldn't it? Right, let's go, it's a good three hours away. Let's jump in the truck, see you in a sec. Right, so we're in the truck, we're just about to leave. I'll give the, uh, the paperwork to the security guard on the way out. Oi mate! Will do mate. Ah, just scribble. Here we go bud. Oi, thank you very much. Yeah, I love it when they say, sign the bottom bud. Just a quick scribble, that's all it is. <laughs> is it worth it? <laughs> Not really. Right, so we're loaded and we're on our way to our final drop of the day. Drop four down in Bournemouth. Yeah, it's saying three hours, so it's literally 12 o'clock right now. I'm saying we could be there for about three o'clock, so. Yeah, uh, interestingly on the paperwork I noticed, it says booked in for five. So, yeah. Well, on, on the on the paperwork that I signed, that they, that they got me to sign, it said five. Um, on mine, it doesn't actually say anything. So yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna pull over because I just realized I got oil on my legs. I'm gonna get the truck dirty if I don't quickly sort this out. I just scratched my leg and realized I've, uh, or just itched my leg. Just realized I got some oil from the Susie. It's the problem with wearing shorts. <laughs> On my arm as well. Right, let's go. Three hours. Let's get crack a lack in. See you in a bit. Hello and welcome to Bournemouth, where, I'm not gonna lie, the weather is absolutely splendid. It is a beautiful day down in Bournemouth. And uh, we just found the corner from, uh, from the range store. It is currently two minutes past three, so we've not done too bad for time. I don't think it's booked in till five. The boss, the boss reckons it is booked in for four o'clock, so we'll see. <laughs> um, but we're going to go straight in anyway, we're going to try our luck. Fingers crossed they can get it offloaded. Um, and I'm probably going to have a break while they offload me, to be honest. I'll undo the curtains all the way to the back. I'll then sit in the truck, lay it down on my bed, or I might just stay in the driver's seat. I'll watch a film or something, but uh, I am just chilling for 45 minutes because then I can drive straight back that is what I'm doing so yes uh, also if you're watching this I, I urge anybody if you're a f if you're a fan of Formula 1 especially but if you're even if you're not a fan of Formula 1 you've got to watch Drive to Survive on Netflix uh, season 3 is uh, it's just literally come out today Friday which is all about last season but the way they do it it like really gets you into Formula 1 uh, tells you the story about the drivers and it's like I don't know it's like a, almost like a documentary but uh, it, it, it's amazing I recommend it to everyone and anyone so even if you're not into Formula One um, yeah go and give it a little watch see if you enjoy it right time it time it time it time it time it time it oh god we've got to we've got to go now off a hill can we go can we go can we go no that bike's coming round can't go this is this is going to be awkward to get out of. Ideally, we wanted to time it so we went out, but um, too many cars. We're too heavy and long to get out quickly. I'm going to be able to go after this, after this little van. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah, there we go. Because we are quite heavy. 
The last time I come here, I came from the other direction. Because I have come here before, and I've done a vlog on it as well in Bournemouth. Um, but yeah, no, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go this way. I think we just gotta pull in here. I think. Yeah. And then we go down here, because this is the service road to the back, I think. Let's not, let's not go the wrong way. Yeah, there's Wix's, we've got to go down the side of Wix's. Because last time I come here, I actually I actually pulled in the exit. Never mind. Probably that window, now we're going a bit slower. So yeah, hopefully they can get us offloaded. If not, I'll just wait somewhere here. I won't be coming all the way back out now. I'm here now for the uh, until uh, until they offload me. I'm here. Down here. Ah, right. There's a a weaving cargo lorry. Hopefully, we've got enough room to spin around still. Yeah! Loads of room. Cool. Right, so we're just going to spin around and literally face the store we're delivering to. There we go, he's got enough room to uh, be offloaded, and I've got enough room to be offloaded. Hopefully someone comes out in a minute and we can uh, speak to him. Okay, situation report. It is uh, quarter to five now um, in the afternoon, and uh, yeah, he's just started me. I'm just going to move that like that. So. Yeah, he's just started unloading me. Um, we got here at three o'clock. Um, <laughs> I've been here an hour, an hour and 45 minutes and I'm just being started. Yeah, it's quarter to five now in the afternoon and he's just started me. When I turned up, I opened up both my curtains and he was, uh, he, was gonna he, was gonna he was going to unload me there and then. And then two Iceland lorries turned up, didn't they? So we had to get both of them in. So I've literally just been sat here on break for an hour and a half. I'm going to switch it to other work now because... Uh, I'm about to get out and help him close the curtains up and stuff, so it's now another work. But yeah, I've just been in here for an hour and a half doing nothing. <sighs> the good news is, it's only going to take about two hours and 20 minutes to get back, so it's not quite as long to get back. Uh, the bad news is, if I left right now, I'm not going to be back in the yard until 10 past 7. 10 past 7 on a Friday. Mm, I think by the time he's finished offloading me and we get the curtains closed, it's going to be... <sighs> probably going to be like nearly eight o'clock before uh before we're actually fully offloaded which is a bit annoying but it is what it is it's not an awful lot i can really do about it andy's calling me only when andy calls me does uh it come up with his ringtone <laughs> Hello mate, you're right. Right, I tipped at last. Finally tipped. Let's take that off. Oh. Ooh. Let's just uh, build up a little bit of air, put the mid-lift axle up, level the suspension. Yeah, so we are finally tipped. Uh, we're going to be back about 7.35 according to uh, to the Tom Tom. I wonder what time sunset is. Hey Siri, what time is sunset in Swindon tonight? Sunset will be at 18.18. 18.18. 18. 20 past 6. I'm going to be arriving an hour later, so it will be dark. Probably will be dark. 
Say bye bye to the bloke. Yeah, oh, that's annoying. It's gonna be dark. Ugh, gonna be dark by the time I'm home. By the way, apologies if anyone else's Siri is uh, just gone off. <laughs> Last time I did it, I had loads of comments saying your Siri went off as well. Ah, never mind. It's it's a little bit annoying uh, that I got here three o'clock and they said, yeah, yeah, open the curtains, mate. So I opened the curtains and they were going to tip me there and then. You know, nice and early. Um, no waste to go back or anything. So that was banging, like, do you know what I mean? Like, spot on. Couldn't have asked for a better uh, turnout. Where are you going, mate? What are you doing? What are you doing? Just sit there. Bloody hell. <laughs> Sorry, um, yeah, so we, we, uh, he said there was no waste to go back and uh, we was going to offload me there and then but then an Iceland lorry turned up with 17 cages and then another Iceland lorry turned up with two cages and uh, he asked me if I minded if, um, he goes, are you in a rush? I said, well, it's Friday, I said, everyone's in a rush. <laughs> I said, if you want to get them done first, if they've got priority, then you do them first. What am I, what am I going to do about it? Like, Nothing I can do about it. Um, yeah, I can go. I'm gonna wait an age now. So, uh, yeah, he said, yeah, it won't take long. It won't take long. We'll uh, we'll get them get them offloaded and then we'll get you in. The, the the one with two cages took them off the back end of the truck and then um, wheeled them wheeled, uh, wheeled the cages themselves to the, uh, the to the back of the store. So that wasn't a problem. The problem was the other truck that had 17 cages. He was in there for an hour and a half getting offloaded so a little bit annoying but never mind so yeah it's now 20 past five on a friday evening and uh i'm over 100 miles away from home so never mind it is what it is i need to sneeze oh this is a little bit tight for a truck i need to do i need to do a 180 and spin around but uh it's a little bit tight That blue car in front is having a bloody rave. He's shaking. The car's shaking. The occupant's dancing in there. Yeah, boy! Woo! <laughs> oh, that's Citroen. Yeah, I'll tell you what. When I finish this vlog, which will be not too long away, uh, I'm going to be, uh, I think, listening to some tunes. Seeing as it's Friday, trying to get me in a good mood. Hopefully the kids will be awake when I get home. Uh, I think I think my girlfriend says something about they're going to be in the hot tub waiting for me or something. I don't know. <laughs> Deliberately taking up two lanes here, or trying to take up two lanes on the left as well. Because I need this room to get round. Finally, turn green. Hey, uh... They were red for quite a while. Gonna get into the left lane now. Indicate left. Excellent. Yeah, the first time I come to Bournemouth, I come in this way, I come down this way, I swear. Then I spun round at the roundabout and um, went in the wrong way. Um, so I'm obviously going a different way home. Well, I'm going back to the N27 towards Southampton. Then, then I'm going to take um, the M3 to the A34 to the M4 to the A419. That's how I'm going to get home back to the yard. But yeah, I'm 103 miles away from uh, from the yard. So yeah, so once we get on the motorway and some major A roads, hopefully we can uh, go maximum speed of 55 miles an hour and get home as soon as we can. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, we'll be home in about two and a bit hours. Uh, and uh, I hope everyone enjoys their weekend. Uh, if this vlog is coming out um, on the weekend, which I hope it will be, or maybe Monday, uh, the Road Legends have a podcast coming out on Wednesday. Um, should be coming out Wednesday. Uh, keep an eye on my social media pages. I'll, uh, I'll let you know. 
if you're not on my social media pages like Facebook and Instagram then you can check out the Road Legends Facebook page and Instagram page or even click the link down below and find the Road Legends YouTube page because uh, we'll be uploading podcasts onto that the, the episode that we've already recorded is just over an hour long and it's basically me and the rest of the guys we're just chatting about our week and how we got on it's quite funny I'll leave a clip at the uh, at the end of this video and uh, hopefully you enjoy it and uh, go and give it a like but yeah thank you very much for watching this video do appreciate it don't forget to check out the Road Legends podcast and uh, yeah until next time drive safe stay safe and I'll see you soon bye bye Welcome to the Road Legends Podcast, bringing you all the latest from Trucker J, Kev T, Luke C, Trucker Jenko, and Scott Andrews. Martin isn't here now, so uh, do we know what Martin's doing, but I don't, I don't know, know what yeah. Martin's doing. Do you actually not? <laughs> Is that him at the door? One sec. Boy, guys, how the devil are you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Luke, 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 do, you, do your best Welsh accent again. <laughs> uh, yeah, boy, oh, it's raining here. No, it's, it's, it's... That, that, that's West Country. <laughs> that, that was absolutely nowhere near. Oh, uh, Luke, I just, I love your accents. Your Scouse accent's brilliant as well. Uh... Ha <laughs> ha